My name's Helen Smith and I'm an Agriculture Advisor for South East Local Land Services. We're having some issues at the moment with having to come up with ways that we can work from home. My job's not particularly easy to do from home. I spend a lot of time outdoors talking to people. A lot of people bring in samples of plants they found on their properties or in their paddocks, trying to work out what they are. So I thought I might do a quick video from home just to talk to you all about. You might be able to practice and develop these skills yourself. It does take a lot of practice to get better at plant ID because there's so many different plants. Good to know what some of the common ones are for your area and also to keep an eye out for the unusual ones. The big issue with unusual plants might be that they're weeds. It's a very practical skill, obviously. We need to be hands-on and looking at them and touching them. There's certain little identifying features and these aren't always what you'd think they would be. There's the obvious things like seed heads or fruits or flowers um, but we also want to be able to identify weeds before they go to that stage at that stage that means that they've um, they're setting seed so we're looking at other identifying features and that might be in the leaves in the grasses we're looking at features of their stems and even a lot of plants will have identifying bits of anatomy around in between their stems and their leaves. So we call these things uh, ligules or we might be looking for hairs. If you're having a look or you're reading a description, get some familiarity with what that means. For example, a nice common grass that we see all around our area and it's nice and native is, is this weeping grass or microlina. And if you have a look, it has this little weeping seed head, but when it's vegetative, that means there's only leaves growing, it has this little notch at the tip of the leaf. So that's just one little tip. So go out and have a look around and see if you can find some microlina and become familiar with that. So where are you gonna read these descriptions of, of the little features and, and things that you might wanna look for? There's lots of useful links and reference books around. One that I'm a big fan of is the New South Wales DPI Weedwise app. There's also useful books on their bookshop, Tocal. You can download them electronically or you can just give them a call and they can send you a hard copy as well. Of course, if you do want to get the help of an agriculture advisor, have a look and take some photos of those identifying features. It's a bit tricky because they're pretty fine and fiddly. So again, I just emphasise the main way to go about it is just to have a stab, make some observations and get some practice. We spend a lot of time with people trying to develop these skills. Have some fun with it. Keep an eye on what's growing in your paddocks. 